this is me. And this is the love of my life and partner in crime. Two years ago, we traded our stable corporate lives for more adventurous and sustainable lives as digital nomads at sea. Follow along as we discover new places and build our businesses one anchorage at a time. Hello everyone and welcome back to a new episode. Today we are finally back sailing and we are going to sail along the east coast of Guadalupe which is going to be awesome because we are back on the Atlantic side so we're really hoping for some nice wind to get our sails up again and have some nice yeah, sailing experience. Currently it's super flat, no wind at all but we hope once that we turn around the tip that we will have some nice wind to sail. Welcome to Saint Francois. We arrived here yesterday evening very late and decided to go into the marina because we probably have not been in a marina for almost two months now. And uh, yeah, we need to do some laundry and stock up on food nicely. So we came in here and uh, first things we're going to get some fresh bread for breakfast. The smell of fresh bread in the morning is just the best. <laughs> So 
Saint-Francois is a little fisher town in the south of Guadalupe. And for the first time since we arrived to the Caribbean, we had some real holiday feelings. We really enjoyed San Francois and all its colorful houses, the smiling people and the calm fishermen which showed us that nothing good ever comes from rushing. So after cleaning up the boat and stocking up on supplies, it was time to sail to a remote island and get some digital detox for a weekend with no network and no connection. Getting out of San Francois can be rather tricky as you will have to sail a narrow path between land and coral reef. And if the wind is high, like in this case, the waves push rather hard over the coral reefs, making the whole journey a little bit more adventurous. Ile Petit Terre is a beautiful natural reserve park where the impact of humans is kept to a minimum. Northern Ireland is not walkable at all, while on the southern island there is only a lighthouse to keep sailors safe. The watercolor is just incredible, but even more astonishing are the creatures that live in it.
Definitely a lot of current. So much current that on our way back we did not even have to swim. But before we turn back, we want still to show you how we played peekaboo with our new little friend and how we discovered our first sharks ever. We let the current bring us back to our home for Duna and after a quick shower we were ready to go and land and see what amazing creatures are living there. But more about that in our next episode next Sunday. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit the subscribe button to not miss out on our next episode. It was amazing to have you here. Have a great week and see you next Sunday. Bye!